and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is very exciting. If you have followed me for a long time then you would know uh, the issue that I've had with my hair and how much I just want my hair to grow and how much I enjoy dyeing my hair but kind of hate it at the same time. Basically I'm naturally brunette and I dye my hair blonde and ruined my hair completely so now we're just trying to basically grow my hair back but I've gone through extensions. I've wanted to dye my hair like crazy colours but I've just never really been able to because it just damages my hair so much. So today's video is very exciting because it's like every girl's dream to have every single colour hair without ruining it. So I'm hoping that these wigs do actually look really 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 good. It would be amazing if they do 100% know that I would wear them out. I tried to get a few different styles. If you guys have followed a lot of my wish videos before then you would actually know that it's a bit of a hit and a miss. I mean I've had actually quite a good experience with which in general but the, the site alone is like quite hit and miss and also even if you order like a bunch of things at one time everything arrives separately so I don't actually think all my wigs have come yet and it's been about maybe like just over three weeks I've got a good 70% of them I order quite a few so I have no idea what styles I've got but I feel like this is definitely gonna be interesting and exciting and I just hope that they look good I really hope you guys do enjoy the video as well and don't forget to hit a big thumbs up if you guys do and subscribe down below and without further ado let's get into the video right so oh my god that was the worst thing on the planet right so where to start the first one's actually a little bit interesting i've had a sneak peek i know exactly what one this is it's blonde so i feel like maybe it's actually the most boring one but the reason i really 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 wanted to order this is because my friend lauren was actually advertising this so i'm sure a lot of you guys do know lauren and she she doesn't wear a wig well i definitely don't know of her wearing a wig i did also actually see a few of my other friends actually on the wish website apparently wearing these wigs as well um which is actually their own hair i thought this would be really 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 interesting it must apparently look like lauren's hair let's see what it looks like when it's on so i think it's just really long and blonde now it's not as actually um white blonde as lauren's hair i mean this is honestly nothing like i I mean it's blonde it's long and it's blonde but it actually looks nothing like lauren's hair however it is actually really 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 pretty and the quality of the hair feels really 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 nice i think this is one of the more expensive ones maybe around like 17 pounds which still isn't that bad like if this looks good honestly what was i ever doing getting extension as the clips you know you just kind of clip it all around and then if you want it to look like more realistic you can put makeup and stuff and blend it all in but i don't think i'm going to do all of that because it's going to take me so long i'm just going to put the wig on and let you guys know what I think of it. Right, so, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I need to get this hair net on. <gasps> wow. Right, hair net is on. I mean, it's actually a black hair net, which doesn't really go great with the blonde hair, but it's all we've got, so we're just gonna go with it. So, some of these did actually come with hair nets and stuff, and you did have to order them, like, separately, but you had, like, an option if, if you wanted to, like, you know, get an add-on. So, this was the add-on that I got. I think it cost me, like, one pound more. Um, it's quite a weird hair net, though, to be honest. But let's put the wig on. Woo! I do not look like Lauren right now, I'm telling you now. So the actual like hair itself isn't that bad like honestly the texture and stuff was so smooth It feels so 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 nice, um, but it's this bit here. It just looks really 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 fake to me I would like immediately know that this is the wig I think it is better, you know kind of if I tuck this behind my ear maybe otherwise It's just cut really badly I also feel like these wigs would look you know so much better if you actually kind of got them styled to suit you and I know obviously it's not going to see everyone. Like, I'm sure a lot of people who do get wigs do get them to kind of cut and fit your face. And I would have to do that if I was wearing this because it just hangs straight down. It doesn't look very good. And also, like, I know you can put, like, concealer and stuff down here to make it look like it's actually your head and your scalp and stuff. Um, but there isn't really the gap for that, which makes it look more fake as well. Um, but, yeah, as I said, the hair overall actually feels amazing. I'm just not too sure how realistic it looks and I don't feel like I look like Lauren uh, so I feel like this is quite offensive to Lauren to be fair it could look good because of this bit here yeah. like this bit would have to like you know look yeah. more your colour yeah. moving on Woo. it's actually so hot tell you what I could not wear a wig in this heat oh this one actually does come with oh girl this comes with the comb and everything this one okay we are do you know I've always wanted to see myself with black hair I look so crazy right now. I really hate it. Uh, we have gone for a black bob. And this could look like 
so kind of like sassy and cool. However, I just don't think a dark hair personally suits me. Um, I'm actually really, really, really excited for this though. And the good thing is with this, like again, the quality actually feels really nice. Like it feels like really nice, smooth, real hair. It doesn't feel like that kind of like plasticky hair. This one's actually a lot better because that one obviously looked like, you know, more plasticky because it didn't really have the actual scalp. There was no scalp color. However, this one's more like a whitish scalp. So it actually looked more realistic when I'm wearing it. So I think this one, could kind of look better but then I just don't know if I'm gonna see black hair again it has like all the clips and stuff you can't really see because obviously it's black but it has the clips to like make sure you like grip it on and stuff and if I actually did want to wear this I would like you know put glue and make sure it's like on a lot better than I'm gonna put on now oh my god this one's a little bit of a shock to the system, but you know what? I actually really, 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 really like this like style and this color, and it actually kind of makes me want to go dark. I think like if I blend it with foundation, this could look realistic. Like the other one, I definitely just think looks like a wig, um, but this one could look realistic if I, you know, actually spent some time on trying to make it look realistic. I've literally just shoved this on, and that's it. But it feels realistic, and I feel like it looks better in real life. However, you touch the hair, and honestly, I'm molting so much I have got hair all around me and it just keeps going in my face and it's just yeah we're molting basically so that's the only downside of this wig okay oh it looks so cool right I want to go dark I've decided <laughs> even though my whole life I've been trying to go blonde and damaging my hair I want to go dark because I actually love it. Next up, we have blue hair. Oh my god, this is so cool. Next up, we are going for blue hair. And I think this hair, the color is amazing. Again, it feels amazing. Like, I was so shocked. You know when you think of like a dressing up wig? That's honestly what I thought these were going to be like. Because people spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on like realistic wigs. So I thought these were going to be like feeling proper cheap. But they don't. The only thing is, the cut's awful. Like, it's not like a dead straight cut. It's all over the place it looks like well you can tell a hairdresser doesn't cut the hair basically this wig is actually so cool and it's such an amazing color however I just I just don't feel like I'm putting them on right because it's this part it's the way they're cut down here I feel like I need to go to like some sort of like wig school to like learn if you guys have any tips and tricks obviously I know that I could spend time concealing it and put a makeup so it blends a little bit more but I still don't think it's gonna look that realistic however the hair alone does actually look pretty realistic um, especially with the ombre as well do you guys reckon like you know because they're like cheap wigs that's why they're cut like this or if I bought expensive ones yeah, like, would they be the same or would they be different? I don't know. I kind of want to go out and, like, buy some expensive ones to, like, see the difference. If that's something you guys would like to see, then obviously do let me know down below. And this is my, actually, the one I'm most excited for because it's a pink wig. And I've always wanted to have pink hair. But as I said, I can't dye my hair pink because I would just ruin it even more than it already is. Um, the only thing is, though, this one does feel like a dressing up wig. And it looks like it. It doesn't look like I know pink hair isn't natural, but it like it doesn't look natural. And actually, the hair isn't falling out as much as the black one was, but the hair is still like definitely falling out. So actually, even though I was most excited for this one, I don't think it's actually gonna look that great. And this down to one of my little cousins because I'm sure they'd love dressing up in the oh wow. <laughs> I look like um what's the name from Greece? Obviously the hair is like really unrealistic colour, so it's hard to say it looks natural, but actually the way it's cut is definitely a lot better than the others. However, I don't know if you guys can see properly, but you can actually see where the hair's sewed in. So if you, well, if you saw me, you would clearly know that it wasn't my hair and I dyed it. You would know that this is the wig because you can actually see it in the top here. Which is actually quite a shame. Oh my god. You know, I really want dark hair. I've never thought I'd hear myself say that. But I actually kind of want to go like dark, dark. Oh, look at all that hair. Oh my god, it feels amazing. The same thing though. It is like, it's the black hair. It's molting badly. But look how, that is crazy. That's so nice. I really, really, really wish I could sit here and like blend the makeup in and just try and make them look as realistic as possible because I actually would love to go out of hair like this and I actually feel a little bit like Pocahontas and you know what? This one actually looks the most realistic I think. 
I mean, if you know me, it isn't because I don't have long black hair. But, like, I wouldn't actually really think, oh, she's got a wig on if I saw this. Especially by the time that I would have, like, you know, actually sorted it out and maybe cut it and styled it a little bit more to me. I think it's amazing and it's so long. <gasps> right, if you want me to go dark, let me know down below. We're going to do it. <laughs> so, this is what it looks like when I stand. Oh, my God, I'm actually I'm going long and dark. I actually want to go long and dark. I think I'm gonna. Do, I actually think I'm gonna do it. If I don't get a custom wig, like, or if I can't get this custom and it doesn't look realistic for me to go out in, I'm going dark. I'm actually just gonna do it because. I love it. So if you guys like want to actually get a wig like and wear it all the time, then I would recommend, you know, going and buy one of these ones to see which one that actually suits you and then going out and buying an actual, you know, a proper wig because it's going to be worth it. And like, even though these wigs do look good and I feel like they could look good, like I'm molting so much, like you can just pull so much hair out of this. And I feel like if I was on a date or something with a guy and like eating dinner or something, I would have more hair on my plate than on my head. Right, so very last one is a ombre. It's black to blonde, which I've actually wanted to have ombre hair before, so now I can actually see what it's gonna look like on me. Obviously, this is the curly one, and I actually love, love, love the curliness of the hair. Um, and it actually says it like, you know, you don't have to like recurl it, it's gonna stay like this. I can kind of, you can just tell by the way that it is. Um, but again, it looks all through around here, and I've decided I never wanna have ombre in my life if it looks like this, because it doesn't look good. This again was under twenty dollars, so like you don't it, you don't want to expect like loads from this wig, and I don't expect loads from this wig. I think they're all kind of like one time wears um, because they do look nice, um, but a lot of the hair does come out, and you don't want to go out and eat in them. So everyone, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know it down in the comments below your favourite wig that you would, if you were to wear any of these, what ones would you go out in? Also, which one actually suited me the most? What hairstyle, you know? Let me know down in the comments. I would actually love to know your thoughts. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>